So when you look at these artworks, which of them do you think is better and is more likely to get those likes on Instagram? Of course, it is this one. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. It is definitely this one. The photo looks bright, everything is sharp. It has all the things you look for in a good photo of an artwork. But how do you get photos of your artworks to look like this? This is what this video is about. To get a good photo of your artwork, you want to make sure that you do two things. First, take the photo properly. Second, edit the photo properly. So for the first stage, taking the photo properly. Now you want to make sure that you use a good camera. Yes, of course, I know, not everyone has a professional camera, but everyone has a smartphone. I mean, of course, that's how you are watching this video. So I'm going to ditch my professional camera and take a photo of this artwork using my smartphone. Now you should know, not all smartphones are built the same. Some smartphones take great photos, others not so much. I remember when I was using a pitiful excuse for a phone, the camera of that phone was very bad. But I had a bigger uncle who had a very good phone, the phone had a very good camera. So every Sunday. I prepare my artwork, when it comes, I borrow his phone and I use that to snap my photo. So if that's the case with you, that you don't have a good camera phone, you can always borrow a phone of a friend or of someone who has a better camera. So we've covered the first point in the checklist, get a good phone with a good camera. The next point is to have good lighting. Now yes, if you have ring lights or other forms of artificial lights, you can set up artificial lights but it is always best to use natural light. I mean the light coming from a window. So if your workspace is not situated near a window, you can always find a space near a window and shoot your artwork there. Now let's take a photo of this drawing. Now this looks very good, but since the light is coming from one side, the other side of the drawing looks darker. Now to balance things out, I'm going to put a white sheet of paper on the opposite side of the drawing. Now since the paper is white, it will reflect light onto the drawing. Now with two sources of light, let's take the photo again. This looks so much better. But for the main photo of your artwork, you want to make sure that you are shooting top down. Yes, don't shoot at an angle or make the camera slightly bent. Make sure that everything is well straightened out and you are shooting from the top down. Now you can still shoot at an angle if you want to take extra photos. But for the main photo, make sure that you are shooting top down. Also, don't settle for less. Shoot thousands of photos if possible. This way, you can have plenty of options to choose from even if the first photo you took does not look that good. So the photo is taken now. Let's move on to the next stage, editing. I'm going to use the Adobe Lightroom app to edit this photo. I have the pro version of the app which means that I have more options for editing. But the free version also allows you to do basic editing so you'll be fine. First off, we load up the image. I'm going to pick photos of different angles but remember this image is going to be our main and primary image. When you open the image, the first thing you want to do is to crop. The ideal ratio for Instagram is 4, 5 or 5, 4. So let's go ahead and choose that. So yes, Instagram will crop the photo for you when you are uploading the photo to the app but it is best for you to set the crop right when you are editing the photo so that you don't lose any quality. And sometimes I let my table underneath show when I am cropping but most of the times I crop the drawing so that only the drawing itself appears in the frame. The next thing I do is to reduce the saturation. This will turn it to complete black and white. We are drawing with pencil and charcoal, a black and white medium. So we don't want to have any of that brown or blue tint. By making the image black and white, you allow the tones of the image to pop out more. Now the next thing that we are going to double with is the brightness and the contrast of the image. So I tap the light option. Now I can reduce the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows, the whites and the blacks. Now you have to adjust according to your photo. For this uh, photo or this uh, drawing that we are going to edit, 
the exposure seems okay it is bright enough i don't think i need to ex to increase the exposure so let's just leave it at zero the contrast we might heighten it a bit now if you are confused about what exactly you should do to make your photo look better i would advise you to open up your reference photo in another tab i've opened up uh, my reference photo in another um, app here and now we can see i can compare the reference photo with it so judging from the reference photo i can see that it does not really need more highlight but it needs more shadows now for this shadow slider once you drag it to the left it will make the shadows darker dragging it to the right will brighten up the shadows as you can see i think the photo can still get more darkness so let's um touch the blacks again with the shadows once you drag the blacks to the left you will add more blacks i think we are good so we have already adjusted the brightness and the contrast for this image after that we move to sharpness i usually set the sharpness between 60 to 80. so now we save the image uh, but now you might be thinking that you know we are done we are saving the image everything is complete but how we save the image also matters so hit the share icon at the top of the screen and tap export as tap on dimensions and set it to not largest available dimensions but to custom choose custom the thing with instagram is that it compresses your image a lot so if your image is too large it will brutally compress it so that it will not be sharp enough so i like to choose custom and set it to 2700 for the long side so this way the image is not too large for instagram to compress it too much at the same time the image will still be sharp enough now this is not the way of doing things it is just my way of doing it so if you like it you can follow me i tap more options turn off metadata i set the output sharpening to screen and set the amount to high or standard tap the check mark at the top to save let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video on the best way to post on Instagram and get likes and followers. But for now, we have a nice looking image of our drawing that we can post on social media. But it doesn't matter how much you edit an image. If the drawing itself is crap, well, the final image will also be crap. Tap on the video that shows up on the screen now to watch how you can shade a face the right way. Watch that. Yes, that. And I'll see you in the next one.